are on your way to publishing your book with your students using Scripsy, our online bookmaker. To begin, you'll need to sign into the publishing portal. Go to portal.studenttreasures.com to sign in. Make sure you bookmark this link so you can easily return to it while you are working on your project. You'll be presented with this screen. Enter the email you used to place your order and hit continue. Then, you will be prompted to enter your customer ID. Now, hit submit. You'll need to create a password for your account. Finally, hit the create account button. If the publishing portal can't find your order, you'll see this screen. Please provide your school information and customer ID to register. Click Submit to continue. Now you can set up your classroom. First, you will choose your publishing kit, ensuring that it is an online option. Now, choose your book format. This determines if students will be working on a portrait or landscape book. I'm going to choose portrait. Then, choose your page layout. You'll want to choose a one-page layout if you have more than 33 students completing the project. If you have less than 33 students in your class and would like each student to have their story and illustration side by side, then a two-page layout would be the option for you. As a reminder, if you have selected a two-page layout, those two pages will be permanently attached. Make sure to choose the option that works best for your class. You won't be able to make any changes to the layout once your project has been set up. I'll choose two pages so each student is working on a spread. Then, you will select your grade level and book topic. If your topic is not listed, click on the box next to My Topic is Not in the List and enter a subject name. Now, you will add your classroom name. This is not the title of your book, simply a way to reference your project. Lastly, you will name your book. Let's name this book Animals of the World. If you don't know your book name yet, you can leave this blank and update it later in the bookmaker. Now, hit the Create button. After you have logged in and set up your classroom, you will be brought to the My Classrooms tab. Please note that you will first have to add students to create your online book. Let's walk through these steps together. You can add students one by one, or by downloading our template and uploading the spreadsheet with your students' names. You'll want to print off their usernames and passwords to hand out, but this information is always available by clicking the eyeball icon. Pages are automatically assigned to each student, but can be reordered later on in the bookmaker. Teachers will be able to view and edit all of the pages in the bookmaker. Keep watching to learn how to add text and illustrations to your book. Thank you.